Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Leo. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is very, I'm seeing a very good communicator here. This is someone who definitely is very logical. Um, this person can come across as a bit unemotional, um, but this is definitely somebody who is, I'm seeing someone who tells it like it is. This person could be pushing for some sort of communication with you. Um, there, there's an honest energy, a very transparent energy from this person as well. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Leo. So we have the Seven of um, Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. Next, you have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Queen of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so there's definitely a situation here that I'm seeing here. It's almost like um, having had to be very patient in a situation in order to get someone to open up in some way. Because with the Seven of Swords, we do see an energy of someone revealing their truth being authentic, showing their true selves. And with the Seven of Pentacles, we do see a very, um, an energy of having to really invest in something, but needing to also have a lot of patience to finally start seeing the fruits of your labor. And um, you may have invested in this person and this person could have been quite slow to warm up. And I do see it's almost like an energy of mirroring each other because you have the Queen and the King of, Pen of Swords. Um, so you may have also adopted this energy, but it's almost like, um, authenticity is needed um, with the seven of swords there's a confession that needs to be made or um speaking of truths um there's some sort of discussion that needs to be had and this person recognizes it i do see them wanting to initiate some sort of communication with you so that they can kind of figure out where your mind is at when it comes to this because we do have the queen of swords here but it's like her back is turned um you know there's this energy of them not facing each other so there's definitely some sort of mutual understanding that needs to be come to so let's um clarify these cards leo So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So again, we're seeing an energy of um, really looking at an investment here and wondering if this will work out. Somebody here is starting to have doubts. There's this energy of wondering if it's worth it, um, you know, really questioning the future of the situation and wanting to get some sort of reassurance or clarity. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Leo. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. Next, you have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, so you could be dealing with the Cancer. And finally, we have the Two of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so 
this person does want to um, connect with you with the two of cups they want to get on the same page with you they want to get closer to you as well with the chariot they do see you however as someone who's very independent with the nine of pentacles and the queen of swords they do see you as someone who has their own thing and um, they could even perceive it as a bit of distance so i do see someone who wants to bridge the distance it's like they want to get closer and they feel like an important conversation needs to be had because they want clarity and reassurance they want to set the record straight in some way they want to know um, if you feel this too, there's this desire to get closer to connect and to have this two of cups with you. But it's like they want to first make sure that you guys are on the same page. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Leo. So the card says you are good enough full moon in virgo okay so there's this energy of wanting to nurture this connection wanting to get to this connection but there's this desire to first make sure that um, it's not a wasted investment so this person could be perceiving you as cold and they are trying to get you to open up to them in some way this is someone who definitely wants to make sure that you guys are on the same page okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um leo The card says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this person could want to take you away somewhere. I'm seeing they want to share some sort of special moment with you. They want to get you in a position where um, you, you can open up, where your guard isn't up, where you can feel comfortable, um, you know, expressing yourself to them. So this person definitely wants some sort of moment where it's just the two of you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. So the card says cheerfulness. It is spring again. The earth is like a child that knows poems by heart. Okay, so this person, I do see them initiating some sort of communication. Um, there is this hopefulness that you guys can um, achieve something here. There's even an energy with the chariot that you guys are capable of having a victory together. And I do see this person wanting to, oh, it's almost like they want to crack the ice. You know, they, them seeing you as the queen of swords, they, they may want to make you smile or make you feel cheerful. They want to do something nice for you. It's like they definitely want to melt you a little bit um, so that they can kind of see where you guys stand in some way here okay so that's what i'm seeing for you leo i hope you have a really really good day leo bye leo